Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a multi-page PDF file direct from Lightroom. I'm here in the library module in a Windows version of Lightroom. Now the Mac version operates just a little bit differently. I'm going to show you where it does and we're also going to have a look at the Mac in just a few minutes. But right now we're going to start in the library module in either version. I've created a collection here of the images that I want to export to a PDF. There are nine of them. It's a really good idea to start with a collection because it just makes life a whole lot easier when you go to the print module if what you want to print is all in one place. So I'm going to click here on print. I'm going to start with page setup because I need to set up my print. So I'm using letter size paper and I'm going to use landscape paper for these images because they're all sort of landscape size. The really important thing here is the printer driver. So you're going to drop down this list and choose a PDF printer driver. Now you've probably got a few of them. I think at last count I had about five of them. So I've got all sorts of PDF printer drivers. They'll have PDF in their name. The one I'm going to use because it is an Adobe product that I'm using is the Adobe PDF Writer. But just choose a PDF Writer from your list and then just click OK. Now that's going to set up the paper size and so what I have here for image settings is I've disabled zoom to fill and rotate to fit and in the layout I've just made the cell sizes as large pretty much as they can be. And so each of these images is going to appear as a page in my document. So what I'm going to do is click on the first image and shift click on the last. Now the point at which the Mac is a bit different is in this page setup dialog. So I'm going to show you that on a Mac in just a minute. But everything else is pretty much the same. Once you've got your images selected and you've gone through to make sure that everything looks as you expect it to, you'll come here to the print job panel and just make sure that this is set to printer. There are two options here, printer and JPEG. And you want printer because you're using a printer driver to send these images out to the PDF. Then all you'll do is go and click print. I've got my desktop here so I'm actually going to put these on my desktop. I'll type Cotswold images and click save. Up here you can see that Lightroom is now preparing this print job. It's got nine images here that it has to get ready and package up and then send to the PDF printer for it to be able to create the PDF file. So we'll just wait as the print job is run and when that's complete we can open up a PDF application so that we can have a look at our multi-page PDF created from inside Lightroom. So I've just received notification that the file has now been created and this is the application that I have set up for reading PDF files. And you'll see that this is a nine page file and each of these images has been written to the file. Now this is a problem because I had a disk crash and some of my images are not rendering correctly but that's not going to happen to you. I certainly hope it's not going to happen to you. So there is our PDF created from inside Lightroom on a Windows computer. We're going to have a very quick look now at a Mac computer so that I can show you the difference in settings on the Mac. I'm here in the library module in Lightroom on a Mac and like I had on the PC I've just got a collection of images that I want to send to a PDF. Along the film strip I'm just going to select all these images and we'll click print to go into the print module. Now again I'm going to go into print settings here and I'm going to this time select this PDF save as PDF option. And I'm just going to call this London and it's going on my desktop and so I'll click save and that's setting up where this image is going to go. Now in page setup I want to set up US letter and I'm just going to click OK. Now I want to stop these images looking quite the way they do right now so I'm going to stop zooming to fill. I'm going to stop rotating to fit and I'm going to make my cell really large here just using the layout option. So let's just enlarge the cell and we can just flip through these images just to make sure that they're looking okay. Now they're a mix of landscape and 
portrait so they're obviously going to print this way in my PDF. Now that I'm right I've got my PDF all ready to go I'm just going to check in the print job here that this is set to printer and not JPEG because I don't want to send JPEGs I want a PDF file so I'm just going to click printer and I'm going to go ahead here and click print. Now at this point if it doesn't seem to print I suggest that you click again here on this printer option and go and reset your settings. I've seen it on other people's machines where it works perfectly without having to do this but on my machine it seems to require a second shot at that printer dialog so just offer that to you if you have problems. As you can see up here in the top left corner of the screen, the print job is now being sent to the inbuilt Mac printer and it is creating the PDF file for us. As soon as it's complete, we can go to our desktop and just have a look at the image. So here is my desktop and here is my London PDF file. It has seven pages in it and if we just scroll through it we'll see all of those images that we saw on the disk earlier have now been printed to this PDF file. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.